welcome to the big island of Hawaii, or as they say it in Hawaiian, Aloha. Everybody want to say it for the camera? Aloha. Welcome. So what is this quantum world that everybody's talking about? Where is it and what is it? Good question. The quantum world is the world inside the atom. Those hydrogen atoms, oxygen atoms, carbon atoms that you were taught, taught about in grade school, right? Or high school, where they had like a nucleus filled with particles, protons, and neutrons, and electrons that were like the solar system, right? Traveling around the sun. But then, 100 years ago, they found out this wasn't true. It wasn't just balls, like some people think. <laughs> I'm sorry. We had some laughs in the peanut gallery here. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, so anyway, let's find out what's really going on. Besides balls, we do have particles. But when they were shooting these particles through two slits, they saw they were balls going right straight through the slits at first onto a photographic paper. But then, when they were celebrating, they left the lab, they left it alone, and went out to celebrate, kept it going, and what happened? They found out that they weren't particles anymore. There were hundreds of lines on the photographic paper, which meant they had waves going out from, as, as electrons. So, of course, everyone was upset because a particle is a ball. A wave is this big invisible thing. We're not talking water waves. We're talking quantum waves. Quantum waves are as big as the universe. Huge. And they're invisible. And we don't understand them because they fill the whole universe immediately. How could that be? It's very hard, right, to imagine, but it's true. Okay, so so even Einstein, he didn't like the results. He said, I don't believe this stuff. I'm, I'm leaving. And the other guys, you know, Schrodinger and, and all the other guys, Heisenberg, they said, uh-uh-uh, come back here. We've got to figure this out. So they did the experiment over and over again. And you know what they found? Anybody remember? It was based on who was present and observing. Yeah. Okay. Louder, when you answer, I really want you to speak up. Okay. That was Maddie. She said it was based on the observation. In other words, when they were there, they got particles. When they weren't there, they had more wave nature. So what does that mean? What do you think it means? Does that mean that we're important? Yes. <laughs> In yes. manifesting the universe? <laughs> yes. Possibly? Yes. Well, can I ask a question? Sure. You say when they weren't there. So what is defined by their being there? Their eyes being there? Their they mind left. being there? Or the their, presence of? Their presence. Just their presence. They can have their mind and eyes shut and it uh -huh. would create a difference. Yep. Okay. It turned out that observation. You know, I don't know about the eyes shut because I wasn't oh, there. Observation. But it, what they were there somehow observing. Other people say they were there measuring, which I, I, I think observation, measuring is important. Conscious observation. Yes, it has to be conscious. I have, I have the same question you have. Mm -hmm. That how much, and it does seem that action is somewhat important here. I don't think they are inactive, even watching. So let's just hold that thought and keep experimenting with this, which I have been doing now for 16 years. So let me tell you my story. 16 years ago, I had already been a Chinese medical doctor for uh, 30 years at that point. I would, thought I was pretty healthy. And I got a diagnosis from an energy QXI machine that said, liver cancer three times and I said you know I'm an energy doctor I'm going to take this seriously after the third time so I went to my teacher 
and I told him the story. And this is the story. You look at your first picture of your handouts, and I think we will see this on the video. The story he told me was, if a student brings a teacher a cup filled with poison, and says, teacher, can you help me change the poison in the cup to make it drinkable so I can drink out of my cup? The teacher would say, well, of course the teacher knows he's talking about his life, about his body. He would say, the first thing I can tell you is you cannot throw out what's in the cup. And the student looked a little depressed, seeing me. And he said, but what you can do is take fresh water in a pitcher and start pouring it into the cup. And what will happen? Well, everything inside the cup will overflow. Yeah, please, speak up, guys. Okay. Speak up. <laughs> so, I had that one. <laughs> keep pouring, keep pouring. And if you keep pouring, what's going to happen to the cup, Zoe? It's going to overflow. Yeah, and then you'll only be left with, with good water. fresh water. And that's the clue. So I was like, okay, this sounds good to me. And so I said, well, what's the water, te you know, teacher? And my friend Roger said, well, the fresh water are your true desires. Yeah. And I said, well, that's easy. So I just have to go home and fill my life and live my true desires. He said, yep, yeah, that's all. So I went home. And I said, okay, now I'm going to live all my true desires. And I started thinking about it. I started thinking, wait a minute. I'm a successful Chinese medical doctor. I have a wonderful son. I have a good life, lots of friends. I'm teaching what I love to teach. And I said, oh, I thought I was doing all my true desires. Oh, no, I don't know what my true desires are. So I went back to my friend, Roger, and I said, Roger, I don't know what my true desires are. And he said, good, now you're ready for the quantum world. And what's the quantum world again? Everything in the universe is the quantum world. Everything is made up, including light, of these particles and these waves. And so that's where we want to go. I said, okay, what do we want to know about it? He said, well, he said, if everything in the universe is made up of quantum waves and quantum particles in this world, then so are you. And I said, uh-huh, that makes sense. I'm a, I was a chemist. I happened to have a PhD in chemistry, and biochemistry. So I said, okay, well, what are you telling me? What does that have to do with my diagnosis of uh, liver cancer? He said, well, guess what? What they discovered is that every particle wave, every moment, disappears and reappears as a new particle wave. And I said, a new particle? Wow, every moment? And he said, yes. And then he said, do you think you should look the same way you do in the next moment? if all of your particles are becoming new particles every single moment, not even something you can time. We say instantly, which again, is hard to imagine. How can these particles be changing to new particles, disappearing, changing to a new particle every single moment? Again, you have to try and not think too much when you're learning this stuff. Just listen, <coughs> take it in, and start experimenting with it. That's what's important. We are going to experiment with it. We are going to apply these principles today in this video. And that's what we want to know, how to apply it. So, so I said, OK, then the particle and the wave becomes a new particle wave. And the physicist gave it a name. I read it somewhere, called a wavicle, page two. The wavicle means wave particle. And that's the truth. You can't have a wave without a particle. You can't have a particle without a wave. They're always there at the same moment. 
nobody could understand that either. It's, uh, there's still discussion about it, but it's true, and we just have to live with that. And that we are new and different every single moment. So then as a clinician, for so many years, I was thinking, that means that diseases can change every moment, or at least faster than we think, right? Because we're not the same uh, particle, physical body that we thought we were. So I said to my teacher, I said, okay, how are we going to apply this in everyday life? So he said, okay, let's look at this idea and I gave it the name of a triunity because it, it's a triangle to, in my mind. To a particle wave, the particle disappears and becomes a new particle. So that's three, you know? And this keeps happening though. Three, three, three keeps happening. So these triangles keep happening in all directions. So we have this big matrix that everybody's talking about in all directions, and it's mostly triangular. So let's apply it to us. What's our particle nature? Well, most of us have a sense that it's our body, our brain, right? That's the particleness of us. <coughs> so when I walk in a room, and I'm going to use a heart to symbolize particles, because they have substance, like us, they have like a heart. So. Um, here we are. Here's Angela, body, brain. Everybody knows Angela. She wears outrageous colors. She, um, I'm a, I'm a cross-cultural dresser because I travel all over the world. So uh, you will see different clothes on me. So that's the Angela everybody knows, right? Now the quantum wave of us, this part of us that fills the whole universe. I'm using a star as the symbol because a star radiates like a quantum wave does in all directions. Quantum waves don't flow. Quantum waves glow all directions at once. So here's my quantum wave nature. It's invisible. It reaches the ends of the universe. I don't know what it is. I didn't even know I had one of these. And now I know. So I said, Roger, can you help me to understand what this is? He said, well, wait. What we really want to talk about is when Angela interacts and knows quantum wave nature, that's what we want to know about. Because this is the wavicle. This is Angela becoming new in every single moment, right? Radiant Angela, Angela who glows and who changes every single moment to new particle and the wave. Got that? Any yeah. questions about that? Can I wear those sunglasses? <laughs> <laughs> I will take it. Okay, so now, yes, let's wear the sunglasses. So if we look at a quantum wave, let's, let's look at what a wave looks like. We all have an idea of a wave as this thing that goes like this. And that's how we think of a wave. Mm -hmm. But a quantum wave is bigger than that because a quantum wave also goes out like this. It pulsates out in all directions. So your quantum wave nature is pulsating and undulating, right? So you've got these two qualities that the wave is. But if we take that undulating pattern, can you see it? It just goes up and down. And if we cut it up into parts, so let's cut it up. If we cut it up into parts, we're going to get a pattern. And the pattern keeps repeating itself over and over again. And that's what we want to know. What is that pattern? That's something we can get our, our minds around and our hands on, a pattern. And that's what you are. You're made up of these patterns. And there's a pattern of you in this quantum wave that repeats itself over and over and over again. 
And the word that means over and over and over again is eternal. Right? I was going to say that. Okay, good. Eternal means over and over and over again. What time is it? Okay. So now we're going to find out what that pattern is. We need to find out, well, what's in a pattern? Well, what's in a pattern is information. And that's what everybody in the quantum world is talking about now. Information theory, information. The universe is somehow filled with information. And the information comes together in patterns, and the patterns are what the quantum wave is. So that's what we're going to do in this series of talks. We're going to find out what your quantum wave pattern is. And it's easy. All I need you to do is make a list of six things you've done in your life that you feel proud you did. Six specific things. Six things that are unique. You did it and at a certain time, and you can remember that. Because I'm going to ask you questions about it, and you're going to write things down about it. Okay? So we're going to take a break now and give you a chance to make your list of six things that you did in your life that you feel proud of. So make your list, because you'll be surprised how easy it is to find out the nature of your quantum wave. And then you, too, can be you living your quantum wave awarefully. See you soon. Swadi ka.